Having a dispute with your business, your spouse, neighbor, or landlord? Before heading to court, consider the alternatives. Dave McDonald is president of the Mediation Center of Hampton Roads, which provides services uh, for any kind of dispute. Yes, Dave, absolutely. Thanks for thanks for joining. Yeah, me. thanks for having me. Yeah, the Mediation Center of Hampton Roads has been established for a while. But been around. People, We've been in yeah. Ghent for since 1993, actually. My goodness, mm -hmm. boy! You know, time flies when you're having fun. I guess. Right. <laughs> <laughs> What you offer, though, is very valuable service, or very valuable services, I should say, because mediation is one of the things that you offer. Right. Yeah, we always say kind of our elevator speech is we help to keep people out of court. You know, okay. That's, that's essentially what, what we do, whether mainly through family mediation cases. Um, I do mediation for the U.S. Postal Service. You know, oh. you've heard of the term going postal. But when's the last time you've heard of a postal employee going postal? And, and it's been a long time since they've had a mediation program. Seriously. <laughs> there you I go. Mean, you know, so it's, getting, it's, it's about getting people together to talk. So, you know, yeah. That's the primary thing. So. Right. And that can make a huge, uh, tremendous difference it in does. the outcome of, of a lot of disputes. That, uh, right. And just re resolving issues, whether in the workplace or, you know, or at home. Certainly. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. So this can affect marriages, uh, people who are trying to, are struggling with custody issues, mm -hmm. uh, those mm -hmm. types of things. But um, also, you're you're a customer uh, at a business, and you have an issue, and you oh yeah, uh, you know you need mm -hmm. this. This can take the emotion out of it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, I but, think but more definitely. more what we see is more you know couples going through divorce, you know custody, like you yeah. mentioned, you know custody situations. Situations that really shouldn't be in the court, you know, because the moms and dads can work it out. So we we give them that opportunity, right, so. and let them see, yes, that mm -hmm. can be worked out a different way, mm -hmm. right. If exactly. as long as they know that that way is uh, something to consider, right, right, and, yeah. and then we help them with options, you know, where where they think the only option is going into court and doing right. battle and spending their children's college education on attorneys and court costs. So, uh -huh. you know, we we try to help them with that. So, so if somebody calls up. And says, look, uh, you know, my, my husband and I are, are going through a divorce, and we're having some real issues here, um, and we were going to go to court, but well, what is it you can do for me that they can't? Well, we, we're one, we're going to get them talking, mm -hmm. um, and and ninety nine percent of the time they're going to be able to reach an agreement. So mm. um, you know, rather than spending, sometimes it's up as far as three years and just going back with conversations between attorneys or hearing dates that never came about and and all you know we could get them together quickly get an agreement and then if they they want to take their agreement to an attorney which we would certainly give them that opportunity mm -hmm. you know to get some additional advice to make sure that they're both comfortable with the you know with this very important contract that they're reaching so is mediation something that is thrown out as an option um, in a in a very general sense, I mean, even if people are going to court, or uh, is this something that is uh, uh, you know, it depends suggested? On, depends on the court, depends on the judge. You know how uh -huh. how um, you know how much they're going to require parties to go to mediation first. You know, some courts are, are pretty aggressive in sending everybody to to mediation hmm. before going to court for family cases. Not okay. not always just for for um, you know, landlord tenant type cases. They'll hear those and, and all, but. But you know, for injury cases too, or going to you know mediation, you know, I as well. Mm. And one thing we've seen a lot more now is is with families, you know, trying to determine siblings, trying to determine what to do with mom and dad, you know, as they're getting older, and and different. Uh, I know I, I experience with my own family, on you know we have different opinions on you know where mom or dad should be, you know, whether they should stay at home, whether they should be in assisted living or nursing care, and and, and working a lot with with families on on how to better make that decision for you know for their parents. So, okay. Yeah, yeah they are, they're they're all really very mm -hmm. important mm -hmm. issues. Then mm -hmm. mediation can can work in some yes. of these instances. Um, is there a cost involved in mediation? How does it differ? I mean, what, yeah, there's, what are the there's a fee. I mean, our fees are, are comparable certainly to what lawyers would charge. I'd say a little bit less perhaps okay. than that. But but it's it's a matter of being more efficient too. So okay. you know, from start to finish, you know, somebody might spend three hundred, four fifty versus putting an extra zero on that with you know litigating it uh -huh. so you know so it's it's an advantage okay. so, yeah. one of the things you also offer in your services um, has to do with uh, parenting right. and uh, you and I were talking um, earlier about an upcoming seminar that yeah we, we are um, one thing you know the courts are often often offering or requiring parents to take classes and 
We, we find that oftentimes they don't know really what these classes contain, you know, what, what are the benefits of the classes. Mm -hmm. and, and I've been a member a long time of the Hampton Roads Parent Education Network. So on April 8th at 2 o'clock in the new Norfolk Courthouse, where I have not been yet. <laughs> See, we keep people out of court, so that's why I'm not <laughs> over right. there. Uh, but anyway, we're, we're going to put on a forum for the judges, mm -hmm. for the guardian items, for the clerks, for all the gatekeepers at the court mm -hmm. to uh, allow them to know what these various classes, um, you know, what, what they entail. So, okay. so we're, we're pretty excited about that, and it will be a good learning experience for all the, the court personnel and anybody else that wants to attend uh, as well. All right, so. and they can give you a call if they have yes, a, some questions absolutely. about that seminar or about mediation services. Absolutely. Um, the seminar again, April 8th, April 8th 2 p.m. 2 p.m. at the Norfolk new Circuit Norfolk Court. Circuit Courthouse. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. and if you haven't, uh, and that means it's not just Norfolk, but people from all oh, over right. the region all, are invited, all, all, right? Right, because we're going to have folks there from Fleet and Family Services, the UP Center, uh, CHKD. Um, so, you know, good, good group. Human of, services. Uh, human, Norfolk Human <laughs> Services, absolutely. Yeah, yeah and, great. And, and, yes. Well, that's so. good to know then. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, a, a seminar if you're, or if you're interested, um, and particularly when uh, it's called, um, what, is it, what is it they were calling it, court parenting? Well, we'll call it the Parenting Education Forum. Okay, yeah. Parenting mm -hmm. Education Forum. Mm -hmm. Good news, mm -hmm. good stuff for people yeah. who need to know. Right, thanks. Thanks, Dave, thanks, for, for sharing right. um, your wisdom. Great. And um, I look forward to seeing you again soon. All right, thank you. Right. And thank you for joining us. We'll see you again next time. Bye.